It all started about three years ago. I was browsing through this bookshelf in my home when I found this really interesting book. It was my great-grandfather's copy of Grey's Anatomy. I brought it down from the shelf, and over the next few days, I glanced through the pages. This book had the original text and many additions my great-grandfather had made, mostly small notes and sketches, all of which had represented something special to him and now to me. Though I really just did thumb through most of the book, I did stop and I tried my hardest to read through the cardiovascular section. For some reason, I was drawn to this chapter. Later, when I was thinking about it, it occurred to me, this is the one way you can actually touch a person's heart and their life at the same time, figuratively and literally. So at the age of 11, I began my work on creating a vein replacement. In the sixth grade, I started my series of experiments by testing different types of household tubings and how well they pumped liquid. In the seventh grade, I was given the amazing opportunity to meet a vascular surgeon. He became my mentor from that moment on, tutoring me on, among many other things, current replacement blood vessels. And he even gifted me several samples from his own laboratory. Now, in eighth grade, through the continual help of the doctor, I developed and 3D printed a model vascular graft that eventually will be able to regrow blood vessels. Think of how this graft works as how this framework works. You build the framework, which you then use the skeleton to build the rest of the house. The graft works just like this, but on a much smaller scale and with biomatter instead of wooden beams. Currently, I'm in the process of designing a new glucose polymer to use for the framework of this. And hopefully, by my 11th grade year of high school, this graph will be ready for cell culture and simulated blood pressure testing. You're probably thinking, wow. <laughs> my 13-year-old kid is sitting at home playing on his gaming console or something. <laughs> I mean, I play games all of the time, a lot more than I should, actually. But I found that if you seek out a mentor, you can achieve amazing things. While a mentor can be anything from a brother to a rocket scientist, I'm specifically talking about professional mentorship. I went out into the scientific community, talked about my hopes and how I wanted to achieve them, and I found a couple people willing to help me. Those two people were Dr. Mark Langsfeld, a vascular surgeon for UNM, and Ms. Danielle Plumritas, a high school biology teacher with a background in the cardiovascular field. Dr. Mark, as I called him, helped with the side of the implants, how current ones work, why they work, how a new one will need to function in order for it to interact with the vascular system efficiently. He also gifted me several current replacement blood vessels from his laboratory and a bovine blood vessel. That means a cow vein. The first time we met at the coffee shop to discuss what I wanted to do, he probably thought I was crazy. Professionals have been trying to do this for years, and no one's been able to come up with an effective solution. He said, if I could do that, I'd win a Nobel Prize. Here I am, no Nobel Prize yet. <laughs> On the other hand, my biology teacher helped with the foundational work, the research of the cardiovas cardiovascular system as a whole, how it interacts with the other systems, how essential it is, and how the implants will need to interact with it in order for it to work correctly. Several times, she let me high school and college level anatomy material to research from, and she often stayed after school to help me with design ideas and research questions. Without either of these mentors, I couldn't have done what I did with my research, and I wouldn't be standing in front of all of you today. Now, how does this experience apply to any of you? Maybe you have a great idea in the works, and all you need 
is a mentor to help you. Maybe you want to be a mentor to someone. I have found that the key to both of these is communication. For finding a mentor, you need to not be afraid to go out into the field in which you're researching or inventing new things in, talk about your hopes and how you want to achieve them, and make sure you talk to people that can help you. You know, talking to a plumber about rocket science, it's not going to help. Once you have found this mentor, you need to learn how to use this mentor. I don't mean that you learn how to exploit them. I mean that you learn to effectively communicate with them to achieve your goals. This is accomplished through you being able to do three things. One, you need to have good questioning skills towards your mentor. Ask them questions based off of what you already know so you build your own knowledge. Two, you need to be an active listener and take any and all advice your mentor gives you. They know a lot more about this than you do. Lastly, you need to be able to create something called a feedback loop. This is where you propose an idea to your mentor, something you've been working on. And your mentor goes, OK, I, what if we add on this too? This is something I'm working on in my lab right now. Like, OK, that's just reminding me about something. What if we add on this too? You keep bouncing this idea back and forth between the two of you. Eventually, you create something amazing and worthy of a Nobel Prize. Now, for those of you who are currently professionals, how should you be a mentor to someone? Although my knowledge of this is fairly limited to more minor tutoring of sixth graders in, math, sixth graders in mathematics and through observations of my own mentors, I believe that the key to mentoring anyone on anything is the ability to simplify your answers and gradually build up their complexity so that the knowledge of your mentee increases. If every professional could find someone in middle or high school interested in your field, take them out to the coffee or donut shop or to your lab or office if you can. Show them how your field works, why your field works, why your field is important. Help bring them up as someone you want to follow in your footsteps and eventually work by your side. An idea is just an idea until you make it into something more. <laughs>